This is the Daily Market Comment by Harlem Bosbiseros. I'm Maria Pachardis. Thanks for joining us at XM.com. In his second day of congressional testimony, Fed Chair Jerome Powell reiterated his message that interest rates may need to rise more and faster than previously estimated, but he also added that officials have not yet made a call on the size of the March rate hike and that their future decisions will remain data-dependent. It seems that he may have wanted to pour some cold water on speculation that a 50 basis point hike in two weeks is a done deal, but market pricing and the dollar were not moved much. Investors are still assigning a nearly 70% probability for a double hike, with the remaining 30% pointing to a quarter point increment. The spotlight now falls on Friday's non-farm payrolls, where expectations point to a slowdown to 205,000, from 517,000. That said, average hourly earnings are forecast to have accelerated to 4.7% year over year from 4.4%. Coming on top of the hotter than expected CPI prints for January, accelerating wages could intensify speculation that inflation may not come down as fast as previously thought and thereby allow market participants to increase their Fed hike bets. This is likely to add more fuel to the dollar's engines. The loonie was the main loser among the majors yesterday, coming under pressure after the Bank of Canada decided to keep interest rates untouched, becoming the first major central bank to hit the pause button in this tightening crusade. Although in its statement the Bank of Canada reiterated it remains prepared to increase rates further if needed, It also said that the latest data remains in line with the bank's expectations that CPI inflation will come down to around 3% in the middle of the year. The market is still pricing in one more 25 basis point hike by December, meaning that there is ample room left for further declines should incoming data continue to come in soft. During the Asian session Friday, it will be the Bank of Japan's turn to decide on monetary policy. This will be the last gathering with Governor Kuroda at the helm. The latest economic data has been suggesting that there is no need to rush into taking another step towards normalization at this gathering, with several policymakers noting that Japanese inflation seems mostly fueled by surging import costs rather than strong domestic demand. If the bank decides to wait for a while longer before removing further accommodation, those expecting action at this gathering will be disappointed and the yen could slip. This was today's Daily Market Comment. Thanks for joining us at XM.com.